Hi there. Now, it's quite important that we go through this type of example where we're going to use integration by substitution. I'm assuming that you've looked at the previous tutorial in this series, but this involves something a little extra, as I'll show you. Just as a reminder, though, I showed you in the previous tutorial that this was the method, the formula that we use when we're doing integration by substitution. Now, because we're going to have to squeeze this all in on one page, I'm just going to change the style here just to make it more compact. I'm going to say let i equal this integral. Now, what we're going to do is let the bracket, as I mentioned in the earlier tutorial, let the bracket equal u. So if we just say let u equal, let's just put it over here, let u equal the bracket part, that's 2x plus 3. So the next thing we do is we find out what du by dx is. So we differentiate this with respect to x and we get therefore du by dx equals 2. And if we take the reciprocal of this then we can get dx by du. So dx by du is going to be equal to one half, okay? Or as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, some of you might prefer to make dx the subject. dx equals a half du. It's up to you, okay? But whatever we do, we substitute this into our integral here. So what we've got is the integral then of this x here. 2x plus 3 is what we let u be. So that's going to be x times u to the power 4. And then according to this, we've got dx by du, which is a half. And then we've got du. Or if you take this method here in place of dx up here, I just substitute half du, which will be that part there. Okay, so you're going to arrive at the same result anyway. Now the difference between this and the previous tutorial is that here we have got an integral where we've got this x floating around. Okay, we've got to make sure that we have this integral all in terms of u. And so how do we get rid of this x? Well, what we need to do is turn to what we've got here, u equals 2x plus 3. And so we make x the subject. And so if I just come down here, then we've got that also I can see that x, if I rearrange this, x would equal u minus 3 all divided by 2. So we've got x equals u minus 3 all divided by 2, or half of u minus 3. And so I can substitute that in here in place of x. So if we do that, we've now got the integral of u minus 3 over 2 for the x. And then we've got that's being multiplied with the u to the power 4. So I'll just put that in brackets there. And that's being multiplied with u to the power 4. And then we've got half du. So now I've got an integral all in terms of u. So that's good. All I need to do is just clean it up. And I can see here I've got a half times this other half here. That's going to give me a quarter. Being a constant, I can pull that out the front of the integral. And that just leaves me with u to the power 4 multiplied with the u minus 3. And that's integrated all with respect to u. And now I can expand this bracket. So therefore I've got a quarter times the integral of u to the power 5 minus 3u to the power 4. A couple of terms here so I need to put those in brackets. And then that's integrated all with respect to u. I've got standard integrals here now in these two terms. I can integrate those. So we've got 1 quarter multiplied by u to the power 6. If I integrate u to the power 5, that would be u to the power 6 over 6. And then 
the integral of minus 3u to the power 4 is minus 3u to the power 5 over 5. And then if I close the bracket and put the constant of integration plus c. Now the best thing that you can do in situations like this is not to just rush in and substitute u back in as 2x plus 3. It's much better if you clean this up at this stage. You've got less work to do. And so therefore what I'm going to do is just keep that quarter out the front and put these over a lowest common multiple of 6 and 5. In other words that would be 30. And so we end up with 6 has to be multiplied by 5 to give us the 30, so we multiply the top by 5 and you get 5u to the power 6. And then this 5 here has to be multiplied by 6 to give us 30, so we multiply the top by 6 and 6 threes are 18, so you've got 18u to the power 5 and then plus c. Now what I can do is, we'll just section that off first, but what I can do is just say therefore i, this integral here, is equal to, and if I pull out u to the power 5 as a common factor on the top here, and then that will be over 4 times 30, which is 120, and then I'm left with pulling out u to the power 5 here leaves me with 5u, so I've got 5u, and then pulling out u to the 5 across 18u to the 5 just leaves me with minus 18. And then we've got the constant of integration plus c. And now it's a good time to substitute in for u, rather than, as I said earlier, putting it in at this stage here and trying to clean up. So substituting in now we get 2x plus 3 all to the power 5 all over 120 and now I'm just going to put a square bracket here because I can see that we've got 5 times u so it's 5 times all of 2x plus 3 okay and then we've got the minus 18 close that square bracket off and then plus c now we're almost there now because all I've got to do we'll just copy out the front part here 2x plus 3 to the power 5 over 120. But all I've got to do now is just expand this bracket and I can see I'm get, going to get 10x plus 5 threes which are 15. So I've got 10x plus 15 take away 18. And that's going to give me 10x and 15 take away 18 is minus 3. And then you've got plus the constant of integration c. So a nice clean answer. So just to recap I chose this example because I wanted to show you how you handle situations when you're left with, say, an X. It doesn't, nothing cancels out. You're left with an X, so you have to go back to your substitution and make X the subject so that you've got it in terms of you. You can then substitute that into here, and then you've got your integral all in terms of you, which you can then hopefully see how to integrate. Now I'm often asked what substitution do you use in certain integrals and the only way you really get to understand this is by going through lots of examples and I've got other tutorials where I show you other integrals in this series do take a look at them and you'll start to see the types of substitution that we use for various patterns. If in doubt, always try a substitution yourself. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. There's no harm in that, okay? Just have a go. That's the best thing you can do. Have a go, experiment. And gradually, you'll start to appreciate why certain substitutions work and why others don't. Okay, so... Good luck with that and as I say I hope you'll look at the other tutorials to give yourself a wider experience of this topic.